Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just want to apologize. This is day 13, but I think we're up to day 17. I did complete the other tasks, but over the last few days I've been traveling and I haven't been feeling too well. So here we are today. We're going to continue with day 13. I'm probably going to finish all of these videos today, hopefully, or this weekend. But um, this is about packet, uh, you know, Wireshark analyzing packets. And like I always say, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. And uh, please subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to learn about Wireshark and analyzing traffic and all that good stuff. So I already, like I said, I already answered all the questions. I just been really, really under the weather the last probably a couple of days, but I still stayed on top of doing these daily, but just haven't been recording because my voice was all crackly and all that good stuff. But here we are today. So let's just get to it, right? So pretty much what we're going to be doing is open up Wireshark. Let's open up Wireshark. And let's just go up. Let's go back up for a second. And so points to consider when working with PCAPs. PCAP is the, the file that we're going to be utilizing. So pretty much we can just, we can do file open. And we can open up, this is on the desktop. So we can just open this bad boy up, open. And this is the data that we're going to be utilizing in today's lecture or today's video. Okay. So if we come all the way down, we can, you know, or you can drag it in however you want to open it, right? So pretty much we're going to be like answering these questions. So question number one, let's just jump right to it, right? Let's not waste any time. Um, ignore the answer for now. We're going to walk through it. Like I said, I, I did all these already. So view the protocol hierarchy. So if we go to analyze or statistics and protocol hierarchy, we can see uh, what is a uh, what is the percent package of the value of the uh, HTTP? So hyper uh, hypertext transfer protocol is right here. It's 0 0.3, as you can see here. Okay. So the next one is view the conversations, navigate to TCP section. So we can do that now. We can just X out of here, go back, and then view conversations. And in conversations, we can see these are the IPs. We can do IPv4, IPv6, TCP3, UDP3, but it's looking for TCP. So we're going to go to TCP section, and it's right here, 3389, is the packet or, uh, yeah, the one that has more than 1,000 packets. And 3389 is remote desktop protocol from Microsoft. So that pretty much answers the next question. What is the service used on this protocol? And it's RDP. And if you're not familiar with RDP, you know, if you're a sysadmin or something like that, you should be pretty familiar with it. But it's definitely uh, a protocol that you want to understand because if you're working as a sysadmin or even trying to use, you know, doing pen testing techniques and you see 33 open, you know that it's a, it, it's, you know, in, in a way to access that machine and remotely desk, or remotely access that machine. Okay. All right. So the question number four, uh, filter, filter the DNS packet. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and here, DNS, and we can see DNS queries right here. So from the from what are the domain names we can enter here in alphabetical order and then we can uh, defrag the format. So you can pretty much use CyberChef for this technique. But as we can see in the DNS queries, we can see cdn.bandityeti.htm or thm. Those acronyms always get me. And the second one is. Uh, Best Festival Company dot T, <coughs> excuse me, THM right there. So we can see the answer is correct. Okay. The next one is filter with HTTP traffic. So let's go ahead and do that. HTTP, enter. And we can see here, sorry, I'm trying to keep my, uh, my coughs together. But filter by HTTP traffic. What is the name of the request? Uh, what are the names of the requested files? 
So we can see here, we can see mystery gift.exe, right? And then we have the next one right here, favicon.ico. And we can see in alphabetic order, favicon is before M, F before M. So that's the answer for this, this question, okay? <clears throat> so the next one is, what is the address, uh, what is the, which IP address downloaded the executable file? And to the, all right, so pretty much what we have to do is see the IP address here, 10.10.29.186, and we can put it, uh, the answer, and obviously you can use CyberChef to verify that. So let's just go ahead and do that really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's go to CyberChef. Let's go really quick and defect. Let's go defect URL. Let's drag this into here. And let's go ahead and put 10.10.29.186. 10.10.29.186. I believe that was it. Let's triple check. Yep, 29.186, and then hit enter. Fake, uh, why is it working? Interesting. Uh, that's very interesting. But yeah, I'm not sure why, what's going on, but yeah, that's how you get the, the answer for that question. And which domain, <clears throat> which domain address hosts the malicious file? Same thing, we have to you know, enter it in the uh, defect format. So let's go ahead and we can see, let's go ahead and find this, which address hosts the, the, uh, the malicious file. So I believe that's under HTTP. I believe that's where I found it for media. Uh, C, CDN.bandit. Let's, let's go triple check here. Let's see, let's bring this over. Yep, right here, C, uh, cdn.bandityeti.htm, I mean, THM, try hack me. So if we can see that, we can uh, put that in the answer, and obviously you have to do it in the defect format. So the next question here is, What happened? Whoops. Okay, let's exit that. All right, so the next question is, <clears throat> man, sorry. So what is, what is the user agent value used to download the non-executable file? So the non-executable file is right here. And let's go ahead and look for user agent. Let's go ahead and bring all this back up. Uh, do, 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 hyper let's go ahead, uh, user agent. So it's right here. So you have NIM HTTP client slash 1.6.8. And that's how we got the answer for this question. And then the next one here, what happened? Why is my uh, thing not loading? Okay. So Export the file, uh, oh, export objects from the PCAP files, calculate the hashes. And the way I did that is we can just go to file, export objects, and then HTTP. And then these are the two files that we have here. So we can go ahead and save all. <clears throat> and let's just throw this on the desktop. And we can just name it um, try hack me. Uh, 17 or whatever day this is. Um, I'm just going to put, uh, what is it? 12. I lost count now. I'm just gonna put export. Okay. And then let's go ahead and save the files, save all. Okay, perfect. So now they are there. Now let's go ahead and open up a terminal. Let's make sure it's working correctly. Let's do an ls. Let's cd to desktop. Let's do an ls, and we can go to try hack me exports. 
We can do ls, and we can see the files here, right? So now what we, all we need to do is we need to use this SHA-250, uh, SHA-256 uh, sum mystery.exe. And then let's see if I can make this bigger. I don't know if I can. But this is the answer right here. We can copy this. And we can paste it in, and we got the answer for the hash, correct? So now this last one was uh, a little pain in the butt, but we got through it. So what we need to do here is we need to take this hash. We can copy this hash. See if we can throw it into. Okay. And let's just go, for an example, this says to go to a total virus. And let's go ahead and go to search and let's paste that hash there, enter. So if we see, it says search the, search the hash value in the of the executable file on total virus. That's where we are here. Navigate to the behavior section. So let's go ahead and navigate to the behavior section. And then there are multiple IP addresses associated with this file. What are the what are the connected IP addresses? Enter the IP addresses in numerical order, which that was a pain in the butt, but it's all good. So we can see the IP addresses here, right? So what I did, I just took them all and I just put them in a note, notepad. This is what I did um, when I did it. And then I just obviously took that out, boom. This is, this is uh, fine. Let's go here and we got 20, uh, 20.99.133. Who cares about the port? Ignore the port. And then we have that IP address. And then uh, the, the, the next one is here, which is 20.99.184.37, right? You can see that here. And then a 23.16.146. Sixty-four, and then the last one was dot seventy-six. So that was it. This 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 one wasn't one. So that one was one. That one. That one. If they didn't want the DNS one, so these are the four that we put it, and it was a whole bunch of ticking tinking around for me to get that working. That one was a, an annoying question, but it is what it is. Try Hack Me wanted us to get it. And that's pretty much how we completed this room, right? So then you hit complete and this one was done. So the next one is web application. I'll be starting that one shortly. And until next time, have a beautiful day and happy holidays. Thank you.